Whoops. That was a bit silly. Okay, there we go. The one time they don't give me glowy ledges. God damn it. What? No! God damn it. Uh, I lost health for that too. Yeah, you're going to die. You're going to give me my health back. Screw you, giant spider. And your glistening wet back thing. And I got a hammer button. Hey. Jump the spider! Jump it! Oops. Keep on hitting X to try and dodge. B is that one, I think. Maybe? Why? Take that stomp to your face. And I still got bugger all health. Uh, whoops. Oh, let's have a look. Monsters. Giant spider. These monsters are the largest type of known arachnids, and they are much more aggressive than any normal sized varieties of spider. Giant spiders can be found in almost any environment, but they usually prefer dark, soggy places, such as old forests or grottos. Like their smaller counterparts, giant spiders can weave webs of sticky silk that they use to trap their prey before eating them. In fact, spider silk is extremely strong and can even be used to make rope of incredible durability. The giant spider population has shrunk in recent years due to mankind's encroachment on their natural habitat. They don't like daggers to the face. Who would have guessed it? I go. Swing, 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 swing. More swingy, swing, swing. So they're just going to go down to the bottom here. doesn't seem I don't know I'll go up here 
seems the less obvious way to go. So I'll go this way. Down I go. Spiderwebs. All oh, these sort of balancing act. Ah, oh, that was easy. Ah, oh, another scroll. Although they are big, spiders are surprisingly quick and agile. I have heard a skilled warrior may even tame one to a certain degree, if it tires enough, and ride it like a warthog. I have also heard that their webs can be used to weave bridges strong enough to bear the weight of a grown man. Incredible! Perhaps I'm losing my wits, stuck in this infernal place. I must be crazy to believe there's such a thing. So I'm guessing that's why the last spider was glowing sort of golden before. So does that mean because there's that sort of web there? Oh, for God's sake. Really? Re no! No, Gabriel. Bad Gabriel. No! How do I get back there? Why must you be so terrible? Oh, for God's sake. Really? Really? God damn it. Just... Okay, here we go. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Trampoline! I get, no. Okay. Next battle I'm in, I'm swapping to life magic very quickly. I've got my bloody heartbeat going in my ear. Okay, so I'll go this way over here since they didn't want to really show it off too much. I'm going back towards the... I'm going back towards the place I fought the spiders last time, aren't I? Oh, God! Damn it! All that health too. All for a tip. There we go. And you can drop now. <sighs> God damn it. Onward into the spider's den. Dinosaur like thing. Well, that looks ominous. Very ominous. <laughs> Goblins. Yeah, I'll just ignore you. Runic keystone. Find one more. came from this way. 
Yes, I did. Sorry about that. And so I have to go down this way to get the other one, don't I? I'm going to go back. That's where I'll find it. Ah, and there's the spider bridge. I don't really want to fall off at this point and have to regain that health again. Nope. Everywhere I turn there is death and decay. God has deserted us. I have abandoned my quest. It is hopeless. I do not want to die. To end up like my fellow brothers, fallen by the wayside destined to be a resource for some other adventurer. Ha ha ha. I don't want that to be my fate. You're a jackass, mate. You've left me nothing because you don't want to be a resource. Nice job. So, not really another adventurer. I'm one of your brotherhood. Thought you were trying to save the world, not just be a sort of... Not just be some sort of hero. Am I judging him too harshly? I don't think so. Ah, more of these. It's not too bad when I'm facing them from behind like this. Oh, no! Shit, I thought up, Gabriel! God, nah. Yeah, you know, no wonder why God forsook this world. You can't walk. You can't even grab onto like, Better be something over this side. Come on, Gabriel. Pick up the pace. Jump. Up. There's a little weight. Yes. Be your life gem. Another scroll. I have been following the trail of Ronaldo Gandolfi famed alchemist and fellow of the Brotherhood of Light. I don't know what drove him to leave the Order, or indeed why he disappeared into the wilderness, but we could certainly use his skills in this dark time, that is for sure. It is said that he created many magical weapons and relics, and that he hides them in hard-to-find places where only the most committed and deserving may stumble upon them. Not because the world's in peril or anything? Oh, I'm back here. something.
maybe I will go back up here. Okay, this way. Gabriel, don't fall. Not what I want. Maybe up here? Is this where I came from? I think it is. Yes. Thank God for that. I don't think I can go that way, so I have to go this way. Ah, thank God for that. After I open that door down there, I think I'll call that an end to this set. And um, I'll see you all guys. Uh, beautiful area or not, it's been incredibly annoying so far. Get up. There we go. We can sort of see where the sec the sequel has actually taken things a little bit further than this one. Okay. Heal myself up. Needed that. Roll that failure. this earlier. <laughs> you can do it, Gabriel. Maybe. Sound like you're yeah, sort of about to throw up every time you sort of fall. One, two.
doors open. Ah, another one of these. Also, steps leading to the top and the cracks in exactly the same place. Um, note to Mercury Steam, please put some more effort into your cracks in the future. Ronaldo Gandolfi built two different chains for the combat cross, but this one was never approved by the Brotherhood, for obvious reasons. The elders thought that the spikes were too cruel for the holy nature of the weapon. However, instead of destroying it, the artisan hid the links in one of the mausoleums of the Order, believing that one day it might be needed. With the spike chain, the combat cross can be used to soar through obstacles and to tame dangerous monsters by looping it around their necks. Tame, really? Oh god. Ah, uh, okay. I was in the wrong place. I've just spent the last 10 minutes running around in circles, so I've just made a bit of a cut here. Uh, it was literally right behind the temple. Anyway, when I make mistakes like that, it's just gut wrenching. Absolutely gut wrenching. Here we go. Anyway, see you next time. See ya.